Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about UPSs, the interruptible power supplies. And we are going to talk about them in a prospect of having them for a while and how it's going. Uh, I have gotten a couple questions about my power master or whatever it's called, this UPS that I bought online. Um, and I did a review of it when I installed it, but now it go has gone a while, so I thought I would talk about it and how it has been. So let's switch over my screen here, and here is the interface where we can see the UPS. I have it behind me and I could take some picture of it if you want, but it's not that really important, nothing really has happened to it. The difference now is that I'm now currently using two of the four different connections to the UPS to two different uh, rack mounted uh, power strips and those power strips um, those are really expensive I think I bought them for like 80 bucks or something like that each uh, so everything is more expensive if you buy it for racks of course um, so currently I'm running a load of 13% in my rack unit behind me. It's not that much. I'm not running that many servers. It's very limited in its usage and I have about half an hour of remaining runtime. So if I have someone over doing some electrical work, they could actually finish that without, um, without me turning off my rack in any shape. Uh, my rack it runs some workloads like Ceph and so on to to handle my data and some of my workloads. Uh, so that is currently running behind me and it's working pretty fine. And I I'm, was looking at this uh, model uh, 22R here and was looking at the battery replace. So it actually says that it was installed 2023-05-02 and the replacement should be 2026-05-02. So I have had it for a while and it has just worked. I have never had any problems with it uh, so far. Uh, and I have unplugged it at some point uh, to test it out. And I even had one time where it started to beep at me incessantly and then after a while it, everything turned off and it turns out that I had uh, unplugged one of the connections just slightly. So if I hear that beeping again, I know that I need to do something about it. I was very annoyed by the beeping. I was thinking, what, what is going on? Is this a server that is not uh, feeling fine? I was looking around different tools to trying to figure it out and then it was just the UPS. So that is something <laughs> that I've learned. Need to look at that. Uh, so you can see such things in the event log here, for instance. So you can see that I had the uh, connection lost here uh, in uh, November of 2023, for instance. And here uh, it was fully recharged again. Uh, and it was critically loaded. So this must be the day where I accidentally pulled out the plug. So that is pretty interesting that you, you have information here and it's quite good, this dashboard. You, you have a lot of information, you have a lot of settings. You can even set up uh, these kind of uh, calculations that figures out how much money you're actually spending in electricity through this uh, interface. And this Power Master Plus is something that you can download and run free on uh, Linux and it will be a service that you run. So you start it up and run it as a service on uh, any uh, Unix or Linux machine, and then you can just log into it uh, via web interface and see these kind of stats. So it's pretty nice. Um, and then I actually bought the second unit because my rack is one thing, but if I have some interruptions either because the power goes out or somebody is working on the electricity in the house um, which has been an occurring thing during 2023 
So I thought that that was a problem for me. I needed to fix that. And if I run longer machine learning tasks, for instance, I really want to be able to shut those down in a good way to save, store, save my, um, my progress and so on. So therefore I got a second UPS. And I didn't get this kind of Power Master, I got an APC. An APC is a pretty well-known brand. It should be a really high quality UPS, but the software for this was for Red Hat Enterprise only or Windows. And because I'm not running Red Hat Enterprise, um, I couldn't actually use that software. I tried to install it via RPM, but it was too much of a hassle, so I uh, didn't uh, succeed in that. But there is a software available in Linux that you can install as a package called the APCPSD. And that is something that you can install and run as a local service. So the only thing you do is install the Feather web server and then you will install this APC UPSD, which is the kind of daemon that is running and talking to your UPS. And then you also install the CGI package of that. And then you will get CGI executables in your var uh, lib CGI bin. And those are not, not executable in normal setup of the web server. So you need to go and enable the CGI D uh, mod, uh, mod, and then it will actually uh, start running. So if you have those installed and got this up and running, you get this web interface here. It doesn't tell you that much. We see that it's online. It's a backup UPS BX 2000 MI, currently using 17% of the CPU or say of the load. Uh, I have been running machine learning tasks uh, before <laughs> I was recording this and it took about 44% of the UPS load instead of 17. So I could potentially run a separate computer on the same network if I want to. Uh, but as we see, it currently has about 28 minutes uh, of battery runtime. So half an hour could be up and running and then I can close it down. Why it's running full bore? And I'm talking full bore. It actually ran the GPU at 100% full, full out. Then you get nine minutes of battery runtime. So you need to be quick to turn off the computer, but it works. Uh, then we also have some system information here. So here we can see the uh, monitoring solution here, and we can also see the battery capacity, the runtime uh, running, the UPS load, and these drop downs have a couple of other uh, options as well. We also see when it was uh, connected and detached over here. Uh, but it's not that much information. If we look at all the data, we get this kind of output here. We don't get any replacement time for the battery. We don't get any information on when it was installed or anything like that. So that is things that I need to keep in mind and try to figure out when I need to change the battery, but you get some more information. So this was what I wanted to cover today. I just wanted to briefly talk a little bit about the UPSs I run and the experience I had with them so far. I'm very satisfied with these um, uh, uninterruptible power supplies uh, because they are really nice to have when you either have sketchy, sketchy power distribution to, to your house or to your business. It's really good to have those kind of things just to clean the power so you get clean good power to your electronics. And also of course if you have uh, some kind of break in the power distribution then you are able to turn off your systems very much uh, more in a, in a more controlled manner. So what you are doing, you can also set up these kind of event loggers that if something goes down, the power uh, is removed, then you can 
uh, log into each system and uh, run the shutdown command on each system. So it could do that kind of setup for you. I didn't want to have that kind of automation in my home network, but for a larger business that could be interesting to save even more on the hardware if something catastrophically fails. So this was what I wanted to cover today. I hope that you liked this video. Give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you want to support the channel, there is a donation link and affiliate links in the description below. If you want to send a comment or a suggestion, leave those in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.